Well, good morning and welcome to this second edition of the 55th graduation ceremony as we gather to celebrate the Washington Township High School class of 2020. <laughs> On behalf of the president of the Washington Township Board of Education, Ms. Julie Kazempel, our superintendent of schools, Mr. Joseph Bolendorf, Assistant Superintendent Jack McGee, Assistant Superintendent Annette Miller, 910 Executive Assistant Principal Steve Selby, and 1112 Executive Assistant Principal John Severis. I want to welcome all of our guests, administrators, faculty, parents, relatives, friends, and members of the class of 2020 to this morning's graduation ceremony. Before we begin, I wanted to take a minute to thank the many people that have helped to make this day possible. To our administrative team and secretarial staff that have worked so hard behind the scenes, to our custodial maintenance and operations and security staff, and to our teaching staff volunteering to serve as marshals for this morning's ceremony, we are truly grateful. Thank you as well to Kevin Lindstedt and his team and Jan Giel for all of your efforts. And finally, to our senior class advisors, Mrs. Carol Costello, Mr. Guyberson, and Ms. Taylor, the three of you inspire me with your love and dedication for our kids and our school. You have continued to go so far above and beyond, over and over, and you are appreciated more than you'll ever know. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for our national anthem. Please welcome summa cum laude graduate and co-valedictorian Tristan Lee, who will lead us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance to our country. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched turn so gallantly.
thank you, Tristan, and thank you to the many members of our township choir, along with choral director Joe Zakowski, who all worked so diligently to collaborate virtually on that project in the spring. Please be seated. And now, our township choir will perform Moving On. At this time, please welcome summa cum laude graduate and the class of 2020 co-valedictorian, Colin Lee, to address the class of 2020. Quick show of hands before we begin. Who here has heard of the B movie? <laughs> Perfect. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway. Because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. But here's the sticking point. Neither should humans. We have an odd relationship with the impossible. While we may claim that some facts of life are simply immutable, unchanging as much we might try, we regularly achieve feats of so-called impossibility. In fact, it is within the very nature of progress to negate the boundaries we set upon ourselves. Had you asked a caveman, assuming they could grasp the higher level concepts you proposed, whether they could conceive of long grass strands that transmit their grunts and howls at the same speed that 
and the sun's rays raced across the earth. They would tell you that you were insane, likely in a rather impolite way as well. Yet, we have held this technology, the fiber optic cable, in the palm of our collective hand since the 1970s, quite literally transmitting data at the speed of light. It is then this suspension of disbelief, our ability to expand our thinking beyond the standard conventions of the normal and the now that bring us the greatest hope for the future and to overcome the seemingly impossible. Our years in schooling have taught us not only how to learn, but imperatively how to think. To think in a way befitting the relentless progression of humanity and life as we move forward. This ceremony today, as well as its counterpart, are indicative of our passage into a new stage of life. Using what we have now gained, suspend your disbelief, embrace the unbelievable, because the only constant in life is change. And to dismiss the infinity of futures before us as impossible is to dismiss a world as dynamic as ours, to be static and unchanging, is to dismiss the progress we have made thus far, as well as the potential within each one of us. Class of 2020, I offer you a challenge. While your goal in life may not be to sue the entire human race, or maybe it is, you do you, there is something we can all take from Barry B. Benson and his pollen gathering cohorts to utterly disregard the idea of impossible. Live life knowing that anything could happen, but perhaps more importantly, that you are not bound by the now you see before you. Bees have never been afraid to change the world. So why should you be? Thank you. Well, thank you, Colin, for once again providing us with such meaningful words. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Joseph Bollendorf, Superintendent of Schools, who will present the class of 2020. Ms. Kazemple and the members of the Washington Township Board of Education, as Superintendent of Schools, I, Joseph Bollendorf, present to you the class of 2020. I certify that the eligible young men and women before you have fulfilled the graduation requirements set forth by the State of New Jersey and by the Washington Township Board of Education and are prepared to receive their diplomas. I'd like to begin by congratulating our graduates and their families. This morning is a very happy although belated and overdue occasion. Whether you are cum laude, magna cum laude, summa cum laude, or just simply thank you laude, today is a truly time to be grateful and celebrate life and this accomplishment. These past five months have been unprecedented in our lifetime. It has conjured and exacerbated a swirl of emotions in all of us. Fear, uncertainty, anger, anxiety, and at times sadness occupied our very being. But along the way, we had opportunities to rediscover the importance of family, of spending time with one another, and exercising our creative abilities to help us find joy in the face of the madness that surrounded us. This roller coaster of emotions and challenges will always, in one degree or another, be a part of our lives and our life's continued experience. You have had the unwelcome ability to learn this under the most dire of circumstances and have had to adapt at a very young age to those things in life that sit outside of our control. Even though the future may still be a bit hazy and uncertain, do not fear, as you are not alone. Most of us are familiar with the anxiety of an uncertain future, as none of us really know what tomorrow may bring. Use that knowledge to your advantage. My only advice to help you deal with uncertainty is to be true to yourself 
to stay in tune with the values that have been entrusted to you and embrace the challenge of uncertainty, to recognize the difference between right and wrong, especially when confronted with tough decisions. For often you will find that the right decision is usually the hardest one to make. I hope this simple philosophy will serve you well and that the uncertainties of life will serve to motivate and propel you forward. You are about to leave one place as a student of Washington Township High School and enter a new place as an alumnus of this proud school. You will be amongst the, one of the largest school alumni groups in South Jersey. And you do not realize at this moment that the fact will someday matter to you. I know that it will matter to the many alumni already out there who will embrace your resume, entertain conversation, all in the name of township. Whether it's a job interview, a meeting, a social gathering, you will be forever linked to those who have went before you and to those who have yet to join. It is a special thing. I hope that you will embrace that and always be as proud of where you came from as much as we are all proud of you. You will be missed, but I know you will go forward and carry the virtues and commitment to the service that we celebrated here during your time as a student at WTHS. Just remember that, wherever your road leads, to keep a piece of township in your heart. At this time, I would like to introduce Mrs. Julie Kazempel, the Board of Education President, to address the class of 2020. Ooh, feels good to take that off for a minute. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, say thank you to everyone for attending. Um, I did give a speech in the video presentation, and I was going to read it to you again today, but I wanted to speak more from the heart as a parent. I have three kids in this district, uh, one in elementary, one in middle, and one going into the high school. And I graduated from Washington Township High School, class of 95, which some of your parents might be a part of. I think they are, actually. And I just wanted to tell you that in, this, in these uncertain times, um, in this era of social distancing, some of these phrases we didn't even have to use a year ago, the board um, is made up of parents. There's five of us that have parents that have children in the district currently and four that have uh, students that have graduated. So every decision uh, that was made was made with the mindset of being where you're sitting right now. So even though all of your classmates aren't here with you today, I can tell you from having sat on the stage and watched this from this angle and from your angle that you're getting uh, almost the exact same experience. We did consider putting fake heads in the stands like the Phillies and fake crowd noise, but that got vetoed. <laughs> um, that's a joke. Anyway, I just wanted to say that the board is so proud of you. Uh, we love you. I think Mr. Bollendorf you know, gave enough well wishes of what we want for you going forward. I can echo those. And we just wanted to apologize to you that the entire board couldn't be here today due to social distancing. And so on behalf of them, I just want to say congratulations and good luck in whatever it is you pursue. This class has had to deal with quite a bit and will continue to do so when you move on to college and we wish you the best. Good luck and congratulations. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Kazempel. At this time, we will begin with the roll call of graduates of the class of 2020. You are asked to please hold your applause until the end so that each and every graduate has the opportunity to hear their name called. Our graduates' names will be read by Ms. Jan Giel. Anna Abraham, Christopher Altamuro, Sebastian Alexis Asseron, Devin Battiali, 
Madeline Bakley, Justin Bautista, Deanna Baccalari, Jennifer Boyle, Madison Canino, Giovanna Castorina, Winfred Christie, Mia Camarado, Alyssa Conti, Aaron Crane, Christina Carreri, Anina DeShields, Ryan Dijon, Daniel Doherty, Giovanna Dernan, Tara Franks, Jamie Frada, Anthony Fusilero, Alaja Gardner, Caitlin Gingero, Grace Harrington, Michael Harrington, Ava Henson, Trey Jackson, Vincent LaMonica, Spencer Lomana, Tristan Lee, Colin Lee, Olivia Marcus, Chloe Martinez, Angeli Malero, Nasir Moore, Michael Morris, Jessica Nelson, Daniel Oberman, John Parker, Walter Pierce V, Isabel Pingle, Alexander Racabaldo, Gabriella Responti, Juliana Rafino, Zarek Schoenberger, Aliyah Sarate, Kashmira Sidwa, Mackenzie Smith, Kaylee Snyder, Brandon Spain, Natalie Stillwagon, Sophia Shramiak, Macy Trout, Grace Tucci, Devin Wagner, Ethan Wenger, Bailey Wheelhauer, Alexa Wilson, Mackenzie Zambino, Ryan Hansberry, Hi. 
At this time, I'd like to welcome back to the podium the Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Joseph Bollendorf, for the transfer of the tassel. Please rise. At this time, we will have our ceremonial uh, transfer of the tassel, which signifies the graduation status of our students. We know we did this virtually, but we certainly wouldn't want to have a graduation ceremony without it. So with that, it is my honor to confer upon you graduation status, and on my nod, please take your hand and take it to your tassel and move it to the other side of your cap. Congratulations to all. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduates of the class of 2020. Do not throw your caps, we're not ready. You guys can have a seat. The young men and women in the class of 2020 have excelled in academics, extracurricular activities, interscholastic athletics, and in community service. We feel tremendous pride for our students and their families. Students have been honored and awarded red, white, and blue cords to signify their commitment to serve in the United States military upon graduation. As enlisted persons, members of the College of ROTC program or by their selection into any one of the United States service academies, at this time I would ask any of these students in our presence who have made this commitment to serve our country to rise and be recognized. Thank you for your commitment to service, young man. At this time, I ask the students wearing the red stoles to rise. These students have maintained a cumulative grade point average of 93 during their high school years, and in doing so are now deemed cum laude graduates of the Washington Township graduation class of 2020. Congratulations. Please be seated. Will those students wearing silver stoles please stand at this time? Well, these students comprise the top 5% academically of the graduating senior class and are such are considered magna cum laude graduates of Washington Township High School. Congratulations. Please be seated. And will those students wearing the gold stoles please rise at this time? We have two of them amongst us today. These students represent the top 1% of the graduating class. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the summa cum laude graduates, who happen to be twins, of the Washington Township High School class of 2020. Congratulations. Congratulations and best wishes to you all, Mr. Strout. I'd be remiss if I didn't say one thing, and I'm sorry to belabor this point, but I want to send a very special thank you out to the high school administration led by Mr. Strout and the staff that have done so much in a situation where you're left uncertain as to what to do, to try to do everything and anything to make as memorable as possible everything that we could do for the class of 2020. I know for some it will never have been enough, but I know the, the amount of stress and anxiety and work that went into all that was done, and I just wanted to uh, go on public and say how deeply grateful I am, and, and I hope in time and history will show um, that folks will be truly appreciative of the, of the added work that went into all that happened under these circumstances, and I just wanted to say that. So thank you, Mr. Stroud, and to your team. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. Bollendorf. I'm certain the greatest gift I can give at this time is brevity, so I will do just that. Today is truly bittersweet. It marks the end of a journey for all of us and yet another unique accomplishment for the graduating class of 2020. You chose to endure the heat and humidity that only New Jersey can provide on this beautiful August morning just to be together one final time as a class. 
And even though restrictions have led us to two ceremonies this morning, and even though there are many circumstances that have made this day a challenge, we are so glad you are here. We are also very sorry for the graduates that were unable to make it for one reason or another. I tried to come up with the right words to say at this moment, and honestly, I had a lot of trouble at first, as I often do. It's never easy to follow Mr. Bollendorf. I wanted to make sure I shared something different than during our virtual ceremony, and I knew I needed to be sure that I was brief. I wanted to make sense and share something meaningful in my last formal interaction with the class of 2020. During my early days in education, then a fifth grade teacher in Cherry Hill, I remember learning somewhere along the way at some workshop that there's cognitive research that has been done on the most powerful things you could say to children. And this research, as I recall, suggested that the most powerful statement one could make is, I'm proud of you. <clears throat> Perhaps that's why I have this tattoo that I had written inside my left arm last year before the 2019 graduation ceremony, you know, back when life was simpler. In my mom's handwriting, written in black ink, it says, you make me so proud, love mom. I took it from a card that she wrote many years before she passed. She even underlined the word so two times. You've all left an indelible mark on this high school in many ways, and there will never be another class like the class of 2020. When you exit the field today, I want you to know that you've made me so proud to serve as your principal. Wow, it's embarrassing. <laughs> and while I won't be getting any more tattoos, I say that to all of you with the word so underlined twice. Our township choir will now sing the alma mater.
this time, I'd like to ask all of our graduates to please stand and prepare for our recessional. We kindly ask that all of our guests remain seated until our graduates have completed their recessional from the stadium. Once our graduates have exited the stadium, I will direct our guests to exit the stadium as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Washington Township High School Class of 2020.